Hey guys, hope you are having a great day. So I started this group offline with some special girls in my life and I wanted to share it also online where we're at right now. The next topic we were going to talk about is kindness and I just wanted to make some videos about it um, so they can also look back on it and it also encourage many of you also is called daughters of the king and is specifically for girls and women um but mainly just to pour into the next generation or things you can do with your kiddos or special little princesses in your life um that you want to speak into if you're an aunt or a sister um a mom that you can use with your kids with that said the topic is kindness and we're gonna start in ephesians 4 32 it says be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another as god in christ forgave you and another scripture is proverbs 11 17 it says a man who is kind benefits himself but a cruel man hurts himself and Colossians 3 verses 12 through 17 says, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony and let the peace of christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful let the word of christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to god and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Kindness is spreading heaven on earth. And these are just my personal notes. Kindness is spreading heaven on earth. You are pavilions, which is citizens from heaven. You are to bring heaven down to the earth with the way you live, talk, and act. Kindness is one of those many ways to show the love of God. You are all different and uniquely kind. So some people may be artistic. Some people might be into music or writing. Whatever avenue that you have that is your talent, your gift, you can always use that to spread kindness, to be kind to someone who may need a cheering up or they're going through something and you can do it to bring a smile on their face to spread that kindness of jesus and letting them know that jesus loves them and cares for them and he is aware of what's going on and he is on the move because you are praying for them and he is gonna do something in their life and i always try to end it with a challenge for the week for the girls to do something and the week challenge is what acts of kindness can you do for someone each day so monday through friday usually like for school or whatever activities they have and also like your parents what can you do for your parents what can you do to show kindness um you know if that's sending them a text if that's writing them something if that's using your gift in a way to bless them that i know will warm their heart up and just give them that energy to keep going because they see the love they see the jesus in what you did for them and a personal challenge of the week is asking yourself if you are showing kindness and how you can show kindness by saying or doing things for people so just a personal challenge is how can i like how can i show kindness and making that 
an objective each day to see how you're also being kind to yourself and those around you, your siblings, family members, your friends, and just impacting the world for Jesus. And kindness is one of those things he tells us to put on every day because, again, it's a choice. It's something that we should choose to do and we should always have in mind that it's something that shows the love of Jesus. So I hope this encouraged you today. Hopefully pop in next week to hear what the next uh, Daughter of the King message is and just share it with someone, enjoy it, or just meditate on it. And you can look back through the video to see where I picked the Bible verses from so you can read into it more or just read it for yourselves and enjoy it. Have a great day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.